Well, for something that I never intended to be, I mean, eight years ago, I didn't have a camera. Picked up my Nikon D200 for the first time, and then it just turned into a full-time career. So yes, if I woke up and, 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 and this was my dream, I would be like, wow, that was cool. I wish it was real, and, but it is. No wave is the same, so I mean it's that backwash that flares out different, left or right. It's that wave with the sand sucking up that, that has four or five lips, you know, mutant big monster. It's that sunset that's just so ripe and red and orange and yellow where it's like, wow! But I'm always chasing that perfect wave when all the elements come together. It's a lot of preparation. I mean, you gotta make sure your settings are right and you gotta make sure you have enough frames per second. I started with a Nikon, I still shoot with a Nikon because I love the quality, I love the speed, I love the processing. But without being there, without having the experience and the knowledge of where to place yourself when that shore break wave's coming up and not going, oh no, oh crap, and going under and missing the shot, but staying in there and just getting in that perfect spot as the wave's breaking over, I mean, that's important. You can't be afraid. If you're afraid, you're not gonna get that heavy shot. Mother Nature is powerful and gnarly and at the same time beautiful, so I definitely have a lot of respect for the ocean. It does help to, to know the ocean, to know the waves, to know the conditions and, and all these factors. And, and, um, but yeah, a lot of it is respect for, for Mother Nature. I am pretty comfortable 8 to 10. 15 foot faces is kind of the point where I'm like, I don't know if I should go out. Is it worth it? You know, I start to think of my family and I know I might get the perfect shot, but I don't want to go to the hospital. There's times where I've been caught out in the ocean and, and wondering like, oh my gosh, am I going to make it in? You know, I can't breathe anymore, here comes another wave. Sometimes it's so perfect, I just jump in and then I get caught in that situation. I try to get up as soon as I can, but I mean, sometimes you can get held under between 5, 10, sometimes 15 seconds. I mean, the worst thing is staying under for two waves. You want to always pop up before the next wave comes. But yeah, I mean, you gotta be in shape and you gotta kinda know where to be and where to go under at the certain times as that wave is crashing down. You wanna get into the perfect spot, yet sneak out the back of the wave and get that perfect moment. For me, I could just stay on the North Shore of Oahu and get so much incredible stuff. I have traveled and I've went to Tahiti and in Japan and a few places and got some really cool stuff. The Wedge in California where they have big shore break and I got some really cool shots. But Oahu or Hawaii in general has so much to offer. Winter time, I mean, there's endless amount of waves and sun. And then the summertime, you got whales, you have dolphins, you have beautiful turtles all over the place with clean water. So for me, I can stay busy all year long right on the North Shore of Oahu. And that's where I'll be for the rest of my life.